start off by saying uh, and making it real clear to anyone that's watching this, here in Austin, in Central Texas, and Texas, and throughout the United States, I know the number one fear that's coming to everybody's mind is there is an act of terrorism and is the, the country, the city, the region in danger. And I can tell you categorically that there is no cause for concern from a law enforcement or a terrorism perspective. Uh, this incident is contained, it's under control. We have an outstanding investigative team comprised of the Austin Police Department, the Joint Terrorism Task Force here that we are members of with the FBI, uh, obviously the FAA, the NTSB, uh, Austin Fire, uh, and all of the responders here. So the one point that I need to put out is that this is an isolated incident here, that there is no cause for alarm, and that people should continue their lives as they would any other day of the week. This was a fairly significant fire, as you can see from the building. Uh, the plane crashing into it set multiple floors on fire. We do have the fire contained. Uh, we do have a few spot fires out are uh, working at this time that we're working on complete extinguishment with. Um, we have searched the first three floors. We're in the process of continuing that search. As of now, as the mayor said, we have two injuries that were transported. EMS will talk some more about that. Uh, we have one un unaccounted for person, so we're making a thorough search of the building. There are areas of the building for obvious reasons because of the fire and the uh, collision with the uh, aircraft that are unstable. We do have our engineers on scene looking at that uh, to make sure that we keep our firefighters safe while they continue the operation here and hopefully within the next few hours we'll have this fire completely extinguished and uh, let these folks of the uh, law enforcement get on with their investigation.